Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today, we are going to be doing systems of equations, but really trying to figure out if that system of equation has no solution, infinitely many solutions, maybe just one solution. So what is a solution to a system? Well, a solution is really just where those two lines overlap. Well, and that place it overlaps is the solution to the system. So if they overlap and intersect once, you have one solution. But what if it overlapped twice? If it has two intersections, that just means that you have two solutions. So it's nothing crazy. You just have two intersection points, you have two solutions. But what about a no solution? What would a no solution look like? That would mean that the two lines never intersect. They would have to be parallel and just never cross paths. And if they never intersect, you have no solution. And if you decided to move the lines, eventually you could get it to the point where they would overlap on top of one another. And if they overlap on top of one another, they're the exact same line. You have an infinitely many places where they're intersecting if they're right on top of each other. And if that's the case, then you have an infinitely many solutions. And that would be what we have here. So what we have here is a system of equations. You got two variables. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna solve this either using elimination or substitution to determine if it has no solution, infinitely many solutions, or maybe just one solution. So in this case, I feel like it would work better if we chose to use elimination to solve. And what I would end up doing is I'm gonna choose to eliminate the x's. In order to eliminate the x's, I need to make this 3x a negative 6x to eliminate with the positive one here. And I would do that by multiplying by negative 2. And that would give me negative 2y equals negative 6x plus 16 if I distribute it. And underneath that, I'm just going to write the other equation, 2y, 6x, negative 16. Well, here we're going to have a unique situation because it's infinitely many solutions or no solutions. You're going to have situations that make the equations look really weird. In this case, 2y and negative 2y cancel. You get 0. Negative 6x and positive 6x cancel, so you get 0 there. And 16 and minus 16 is also 0, so you can write all these zeros down. But really, you end up with 0 equals 0. And you got to ask yourself, is that a true statement? And the answer to that is yes, that is a true statement. And if it is something like 0 equals 0, that is infinite solutions. So the way that you get infinite solutions is if you get 0 equals 0 predominantly, or you could also get 2 equals 2, 5 equals 5, 3 equals 3, or any number equaling any other number that is the same, you have infinite solutions. You can also determine if it's infinite solutions by looking at the equations. If the equations are identical, with the exception of one just is distributed by a 2 or a 3, then they are going to be the same as well. If they're the same equation, you have infinite solutions. So here, if we look at these two equations, the only difference between the top equation and the bottom equation is that the top equation is just half as much. If we doubled everything, if we didn't multiply by negative 2, if we multiplied by a regular 2, we would get 2y, 6x, and negative 16, which is the same equation as the bottom one. And because these two things are essentially the same, you have infinitely many solutions. Now this next one, we're going to be able to look at it, and it's difficult to determine whether these equations are identical or not. Um, so this could be either an indicator that this is going to be one solution, but that's not a guarantee. We're going to solve it just like we did before, either using elimination or substitution. In this case, substitution is by far the winner, because you have y equal to 2x plus 1. I'm going to take that and substitute it in for y, and we get... 2 times 2x plus 1 minus 4x equals 3. We have to distribute the 2. We get 2 times 2 is 4x plus 2 minus 4x equals 3. Well here, 4x and minus 4x cancels out, and we're left with just 2 is equal to 3. And you have to ask yourself, is 2 equal to 3? And the answer to that is no, 2 does not equal 3. And that would indicate that this is no solution. That means that these two lines were pretty close together, but apparently they didn't overlap at all. On this next one, we'll look at the equations, and they look pretty similar. They got a 3, a 4, a 20, a 6, an 8, and a 20. So they're pretty close together. 
um, which could indicate that this could be infinitely many solutions or no solution. We're going to still solve it using the best method. In this case, the best method would be to use elimination. Um, I'm going to multiply by 2 on the top equation because that would allow me to make this 2 multiplying by 4 and negative 8 and positive 8 underneath it would allow it to eliminate. So I'm going to distribute the 2. We get 6x minus 8y equals 40. And underneath that, I'm rewriting this equation, 6x plus 8y equals 20. Well, in this case, um, if we add straight down, the y's do eliminate, but we end up with 12x is equal to 60. And we didn't end up with 0 equals 0, or 4 equals 4, or a true statement, or a non-true statement. Uh, if we ended up with 12x equals 60, you can solve 4x by dividing by 12, and when we do that, we get x is equal to 5. Now you may notice that that is one number. If that is one number, you found one solution. We didn't find the full coordinate solution, but we did find out that it does reach A, a single solution. Not no solution, not infinitely many solutions. So this is going to have one solution set to it. If it were a quadratic, we'd have to plug it in to maybe make sure it doesn't have two of them, but these are both lines. All right? That's going to do it for today's episode of Math with Sone. Until next time, stay thirsty for knowledge, and I will see everybody later. Bye.